I'm the Michael Jordan of Peels. All it took was a little science to get these drinks extra cold. Like a glove. Yeah, it feels good in here. If you've been making ice packs like this, you're doing it wrong. Here's how you make your own gel ice packs. So squishy. Let's start off with a reusable zip top bag. They're more sustainable. Add two parts water, one part alcohol, a little bit of dish soap. And for the right look, food color. And now, get as much air out as you can. Just make sure that's sealed tight or you can double bag it. Now this goes into the freezer for a few hours or overnight. A non-toxic alternative is to make a gel pack with light corn syrup. This is a safe option for kids because if it does leak, it's just sticky. For lunches, freeze some wet sponges. If they thaw, they won't leak. After some time in the freezer, we have our gel ice packs. If you want it a little more firm, just add less alcohol. I definitely recommend keeping an ice pack like this on hand for injury and fatigue, and non-toxic packs like these are great for lunches. Hot temperatures call for super cold, refreshing drinks. Or maybe a dip in the pool. Just kidding. For the coldest drinks, here's how to super chill your beverages. To super chill your cooler, all you'll need is salt. I'm gonna check the temperature before I add the salt to see if it makes a difference. Now that's cold. Now add the salt. Use a coarse salt, or better yet, ice cream salt. You don't need much, just a generous sprinkle over the top. That was way generous. Now get in there and mix it up. Now that the drinks are in there, just let them get extra frosty. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's much colder. All it took was a little science to get these drinks extra cold. As things heat up out there, make sure you're staying super cool. When life gives you lemons, what is it that they say? That's right, make lemonade. Here's how to make the best lemonade at home. The secret is all in the lemon peel. Just use a vegetable peeler and get that peel right off. All those oils in the peel will give you an incredible burst of lemon flavor. Try to mostly get the peel, but if there's a little bit of the pith, that's okay. Oh my gosh, the intoxicating scent of lemon. I'm the Michael Jordan of peels. Now add sugar to the lemon peels. Mix it up and that sugar will absorb all those lemon oils. Let this sit for a few hours or overnight. This is what our lemons look like after they've sat. And I'm gonna add this to a small saucepan. Add some water and let this dissolve over medium heat. Roll your lemons to get them extra juicy. Six to eight lemons should be enough. Squeeze and juice. Once that sugar's dissolved, we're just gonna strain it and let it cool. Let's assemble our lemonade, starting with some filtered water. And the best part is you can do this to taste. You can make it more lemony or more sweet, however you like it. Get your lemonade, lemonade, fresh squeezed lemonade. If you've never tried cucumber lemonade, it is amazing. Or you can infuse your lemonade with strawberries or herbs like mint and basil. Now you're ready for a picnic or a nice porch in a rocking chair. Don't let your grill turn your burgers into this. Form your hamburger patties ahead of time and let those chill in the fridge at least 30 minutes. That'll help them cook more evenly and keep them juicy. Before they're ready to hit the grill, brush them with a high heat oil. I like to use grapeseed oil. Then add salt, pepper, and your favorite seasonings. Since burgers are prone to flare ups, preheat your grill to get those grates nice and hot. Then you can turn a section off so there's no direct flame. And that's where you wanna put your burgers. Without a direct flame, you won't get those flare ups. You can even add an ice cube to the center to help even out the cook. Now you can close up the grill and let those cook. Let your burgers cook halfway through and flip them one time. A good sign that your burgers are done is when those juices run clear. You can see there's still a little red in the juice there. This is a great time to add cheese right before those burgers are finished. To trap that juice inside, let them rest at least 10 minutes before eating. Now that's a tasty burger. Hot dogs are a grilling staple, but on these grates, they're so unruly. Get back here. This is how to grill the ultimate hot dog. All you need are skewers. Now you wanna make sure you soak your skewers at least 30 minutes before you put them on the grill. That'll prevent them from burning. Space your dogs out a little bit and we're gonna run the skewer right through. For this, you can do as many dogs as you want. Ta-da! 
just like that. Just lay them down and get grilling. No more rolling and all your dogs are together. We can also use a skewer to spiral cut our hot dogs. The trick is getting it right down the middle. You're gonna take a knife, slowly rotate it around the hot dog. Pull it through, We've got our spiral dog. I like this because it's not only fun, but it'll help your dogs cook a little more evenly. Best part of the skewer method is that it makes the flip really easy. Skewer some veggie kebabs or mix it up and make some grilled pineapple. It's best to grill over a medium heat, that way everything cooks through and doesn't burn. These are gonna be so tasty. And that's how to use skewers to solve problems on the grill. A fan is good, but sometimes it's just not enough. I've always wanted to do this. I'm gonna show you how to make your own DIY air conditioner. First, you're gonna need a large container. I insulated two storage bins. Or you can insulate a bucket or a cooler, which is already insulated. To assemble our AC unit, you're gonna need the lid, some PVC pipes, and a fan. First, we're gonna need to trace our cutouts. And it's not perfect, but we just wanna trace the shape of our fan. Now we need to cut these sections out. You don't have to cut the circle completely out. What you're looking for is kind of the shape of the top where you put a straw through a lid. Like a glove. All right, now that everything fits, we need one last thing. For the real AC effect, we need ice. I like to use frozen jugs like this. That way you don't have to pour out water and you could refreeze them and use them again. Here we go, time to fire it up. It worked. Woohoo! To make this more efficient, you could seal up the edges of the fan with tape, and it's also a good tip to use elbow brackets like this so you can position the air where you want it to go. I made this AC with a USB fan, so now it's battery powered. <laughs> so smart! The sun can turn your car into what feels like an oven. Here's how to quickly cool off your car interior. Start with rolling down that passenger window. Once it's rolled down, fan the driver's side door. Just fan the door about eight to 10 times. That'll push all that hot air out of the car. Yeah, it feels good in here. And if you're really in a hurry, you can try this method. Simply roll down all your windows and start driving. The only downside is your seat may still be a little hot. There's a few things you can do to prevent the interior car from getting too hot in the first place. After you park, turn your wheel upside down. That'll keep the top part in the shade. If you can, also crack your windows about an inch. Keep a large towel in your car to cover your seats, console, and dash. And a towel helps to protect your seats if you're extra sweaty. Believe it or not, the air outside's gonna be cooler than the air inside, and with these tips, now we're ready to drive. You can't control gas prices, but you can be smarter when it's time to head to the pump. Here are some tips for your next fuel up. Remember, the little arrow on the gas gauge lets you know which side the tank's on. That helps a lot when you're driving a different vehicle like a rental car. Try to stick to a single gas brand, one that may offer a loyalty program or discounts. That way over time, you'll be saving more money. Fuel up midweek when prices tend to be lower. On Friday, they go up, especially over holiday weekends. It can be better to pump gas in cooler temperatures when gas is denser. You'll get more bang for your buck, but the difference is kind of negligible. And make sure that gas cap is sealed and tight to prevent additional vapors from escaping. Thanks for watching Problem Solve. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos like these two right here.